Welcome to the replay. Hi, thank you for tuning in. Hey, Flourish. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Marissa V. Grayson here. It's been a minute since I've been on Periscope. So, hi, Angela. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. It's Marissa Grayson. So, for those of you who don't know me, I am Marissa V. Grayson. I am a child custody and family law attorney, as well as a mediator and co-parent coach and author of The Business of Co-Parenting, which is releasing April 12, 2016. There is a book series, a full book series, one book for moms, one book for dads, one book for step parents. Visit bit.ly forward slash co-parent business if you want more information about that. Hello, hello. So I just got home from court and um, I just decided to hop on Periscope and chat with you guys because social media is amazing, right? It can be amazing. It can be used for amazing things, but it also can be used for things that are inappropriate. <laughs> and um, a lot of times we as parents or people in general get so cut up, caught up in our emotions over, you know, just different things that are going on in our, that's going on in our lives that we just naturally out of our natural emotions post stuff on our social media pages, right? So, you know, I might post an opinion about the way I feel about something or my position on a certain issue. And I mean, you guys know how it is with Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all of that. So this morning, one thing that I always do is I have my team whenever I'm going against another parent in court because I'm a child custody and family law attorney. One thing that I always do is um, check the other parties, Facebook pages and social media, other pages as well to see what's popping <laughs> and what they've been saying about my clients and what kind of stuff they've been doing around their kids or in their kids presence. And I always use it in court. So this morning. I was, you know, scrolling because I had a hearing coming up. <clears throat> so I was scrolling through the other party's social media page. And when I tell you, I'm never surprised. <laughs> I'm never surprised at the stuff that people post. It amazes me. Every time I'm like, oh, this person is not going to have anything for me to use. Boop, there it is. They got something. Posting some mess on social media that doesn't have no business being there, especially when you're co-parenting. And supposed to be creating an environment that's conducive to living in, you know, with your children so that they can have peaceful lives and you posting all your drama on Facebook. Um, so anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I don't have any notes today because this is literally like a last minute scope that I just decided to do. So anyways, um, so I'm looking at all this stuff that's on social media and then I see this stuff about Sierra and Future. If you guys haven't seen it already, you know, Sierra's the R&B singer. Future is the rapper. They got a kid together. They don't really get along. They have issues with each other. And they both, well, more so Future, has been posting just random stuff about Sierra on social media. So it was released this morning that she has filed for defamation of character against him, a civil lawsuit. And I believe it's for like some outrageous number, like $15 million. So um. Besides the fact that just for your child's sake, you shouldn't be posting stuff on social media related to whatever's going on in your family law situation or whatever's going on, you know, in your co-parent situation or your legal problems or whatever the case may be. Despite the fact that your kids, depending on their age and if they have social media, um, they can see this stuff. On top of that, Everybody in the world can see it. And even though, you know, with them in particular, they're celebrities. So, you know, the world already thinks that they know their lives. There's still certain stuff that you just should not be posting about. And people really never cease to amaze me because the stuff that I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't even post stuff if it's got a curse word in it. I'm like, mm, let me think about that. But these people, I mean, they just go in on each other on social media. And, you know, once that stuff is out there, it's out there. And you can delete it all day long, but please believe, even when you delete it, <clears throat> there's a way to find it. <clears throat> Sorry. I have had subpoenas issued um, to get Facebook login information. I've had, you know, judges order that the other parent turn over their passwords and their social media account information 
depending on what's in it, especially when the parties are married. So, you know, we think that, oh, we're inboxing somebody privately and the stuff isn't going to come out. You know, nobody will ever see it. Or I posted it when I was mad, but I'm going to delete it now because I'm cool and we think it's gone. But the reality is it's still there and somebody's going to find it. If you got a bomb lawyer like me, I'm going to find it. OK, I just tooted my own horn anyway. So anyway, so, yeah, she's suing him for defamation. It's like 15 million dollars. And I mean, it's pretty much I could argue that that's a good case for defamation because he's been posting stuff about her basically, you know, trying to damage her character is what it seems like. And as a celebrity in particular, or even just for people who are business people, when people start to make all these comments and commentary about you on social media, then you could damage their reputation. You can interfere with their business relationships. You can interfere with their clients, you know, all ty all types of things. Prospective clients may not want to hire them anymore. All types of things could happen all because you decided you wanted to tweet some nonsense. <laughs> so now he's at risk of having to pay $15 million or more because he was mad about whatever he was mad about, which he may have been justified for being mad about, but for you to post about it on social media in a manner, specifically when you're posting about a celebrity who, you know, the world is watching at all times and you're, they're watching you and her. So your influence on, you know, society and the people who are buying, who's buying your music and buying her music, it matters to a lot of people. So if I'm future and I'm posting a gang of stuff about, you know, the other parent and it's convincing millions of people, I doubt it's doing that, but it could be. If it's convincing millions of people not to buy her music because they think that she is, you know, a crazy baby mama who is trying to interfere with his father's rights or whatever it is that he's trying to portray about her, then that technically could be damaging to her character and that would be considered defamation. And by you doing that and interfering, especially if it's not true, then that's going to cause a lot of problems for you in the long run. And it, I mean, it doesn't even have, it doesn't always only apply to celebrities. I mean, it happens with us regular folk too. You know, if somebody posts a gang of stuff about me on social media and says, you know, X, Y, and Z about me practicing family law. Oh, she's not a good lawyer. She does this. She's a conniver. She takes your money. She, whatever then the public who reads these opinions and reviews, because a lot of us depend on reviews, right? When I'm going to hire somebody, I'm looking for reviews. That's one of the first things I look for. Not just the testimonials that are on the site. I'm looking for the reviews on Amazon or Yelp or, you know, the reputable reviews that you can find online. And if all you see is a bunch of negative commentary, that's going to sway whether you buy from me or not, or whether you do business with me or not. So it applies, you know, to all of us. So just be mindful of the things that you're posting on social media, because like I said, we think that it's, you know, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. It's not affecting anybody yet, yeah, hurt her feelings, but it's not really affecting her. It definitely matters, especially, and this is another thing. I'm going off on a tangent again. Some of us have kids that are old enough to be on social media, depending on your kid's age. Now, my kids aren't on social media, even my 12 year old, but I know some 11 and 12 year olds that are on social media and I have clients who have 10 nine year olds on social media. So they're on social media. Their parents are on social media and you have one parent who's on social media talking bad about the other parent on social media. And these kids are on social media. So guess what they're looking at? Not only are they starting to see that the negativity that you're fueling into society about their other parent, but that's also showing your immaturity and your inability to have a positive relationship with their parent, which then can influence how they feel about their parent or how they feel about themselves. Because technically, if you're talking about my mama and you hate my mom and I'm half of my mom, then how do you feel about me? Right. Um, so. All of these things should be taken into consideration. You're not just hurting the other person. You could be hurting their family members. You could be hurting your children, you know, making your children look bad. If you got teenagers on social media and you on social media going off about their mom and their friends are also on social media and they're seeing the stuff that you're posting, your mom and daddy always got drama. They be posting about it on social media. Like, come on, we got to do better. We just have to. And I know in the Sierra Future situation, you know, their kid is a lot younger, thankfully, and hopefully he'll never remember 
all of this stuff that's been going down and hopefully they'll hash it all out before he's old enough to understand. But the fact of the matter is, like I said, once it's out there, it's out there. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. I will be scoping three times a week. I wanted to do every day, but I'm not even going to set myself up for that. Three times a week on child custody, child support, family law issues, um, co-parenting, blended family living, all that good stuff. And again, for those of you who came on late, I am Marissa V. Grayson, child custody and family law attorney, mediator, and co-parent coach. I help families transform their family law drama into harmony one way or another. I have three books that will be releasing on April 12th, one for moms, one's for dads, and one is for step parents. It's called The Business of Co-Parenting. You can find me on Facebook. I am Marissa V. Grayson-esque. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. I am a natural lawyer. And right now, if you go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash co-parent business, I have information about my book series is coming out and you can actually download a sample mini chapter from the series, the the series itself has a m- more extended chapter, but you know, just to get your little your feet wet on some co-parenting business. So, anywho, thank you guys for tuning in. And oh, finally, before I hang up, hang up like I'm on a phone call. Before I get off of here, I am doing on every Wednesday. That's tomorrow. I am doing a segment that I call Ask Marissa, and I've already gotten like 20 questions, but I'm accepting questions so you can go to what is it? Bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash. Uh, I think it's Ask Marissa. <laughs> but anyways, if you go to my website, America's Blended Family Expert dot com, then you can see that. And yes, Courtney just reminded me I have a video on the business of co-parenting and what that whole concept is about and how if you apply it to your lives, you and your children can have lives that are like unbelievable. So without all the drama. Anyhow, thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to share this broadcast with your followers. If you are tuning into the replay, thank you for giving me hearts. They do count towards everything that I need. (laughs) Not really. I love the hearts. I love to see them going across my screen. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow and Thursday. If you have any questions, bit.ly forward slash ask Marissa. That's M-E-R-I-S-S-A. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.